So let's get this next bad boy open. Let's see what's inside. So, um, I've seen this guy a few times already. Yeah, he's just, oh, he's just all right. No, actually, the fair is actually quite decent. He's got menace, which is handy. So he's probably gonna get in early, and he's an early card for two mana. And he's got a wee ramp, so he's actually he is actually quite decent. He's not, so he's even worried. He's probably all right. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah, I don't think this one's as great, except for enable and spectacle. Yeah, I don't think that's a good card. I think it's that's a decent one. Decent. He's decent. Metasaur is nice crap. No, oh, shouldn't say that. He's. I rewind that. I won't say that word. He is not very good. So, Death Touch, instant killer, draw a card. Yeah, I think that's. I think that is actually decent. Yeah, it's not. This isn't a good one. I don't think that one's good. It's too expensive. Growth Spiral, that is good. So overall, oh, we got more commons actually. Yeah, that's. I. I quite like that one. I know it's a bit. It is just an anthem effect. So, it is just okay, but I quite, I quite like it. I quite like it. I think I can be handy. So overall, commons, yeah, they're they're okay. Okay, booster pack for commons. So let's see what our uncommons are like. So ours are fractures. This combat damage. We've seen this one before. I think its price just puts it out that five mana. It's just a bit too much. Afterlife life two is handy though. Uh, this one of these lovely jewel ones. The two options. Incubation is basically top five cards and put a creature. Pull a creature out. So five is about yeah, you'll probably end up all getting creature from that, so probably is quite useful as pretty much find a creature in top five if you like. Uh, exile to create frog. Mm. I think for three that's about much because you can get that same sort of card, the same effect, return an opponent's creature and or even your own creature, I suppose, into a frog for one mana. So I think that's a bit dear. The first part of that's probably a bit better. So that's eh, ugh. overall it's okay. But thank you for doing that. You're playing the first one. In raids, Sarah talk. We've seen him before. Talked about it before. And oh, I like when they got a nice wee border like that. Usually that means there's something good going on. And he's a legendary creature, so you can't cast non creature spells. And whenever you tap a land from mana, which is one mana of any type that land produced. No. That could be good. It would have been better if it if you could do it for um non Oh wait. It'd be better if you do if you could cast non creature spells with it, because then you could have those nasty X ones and make them deal a hell of a lot. But I suppose by the time another thing is by the time this guy comes out. Like five mana, you're going to be able to play a lot of your big creatures anyway. So it doesn't make too much of a difference. But I guess if you can like bring it out, use a lot of mana, and also kill him, kill your own creature, and then cast the next. That'd be nice. So yeah, you can see how you can kind of manipulate him to make it good for you. So we got a shiny in this one. So our guilty gates. Oh, what's our shiny? Ah, oh, come. Not very, not very good. Zombie useful. So overall, I guess that's... No, I wasn't impressed by that booster. 